looks like we're recording with the GoPro today. I don't know how long that's going to last, but we're out here. We're out of school, which I hadn't planned on going to, but it turns out it's a student holiday of some type. So we're going to go take a look around a little bit. I'm still leery of this battery situation, so I will turn you back on if I find anything worth filming, but for right now, looks like Mr. GoPro's working. Yeah, there's me in my shadow, and there's my rude assassin shovel, and the simplex. Uh, her name is Penny, because most of the time she just yells, Penny, 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 and if you watch Big Bang, you'll understand that. Okay, let's go see what we can find out here. Okay, we're bouncing around here. Uh, we're getting 76 through 80, all the way up to 86. I'm going to try again to do a live dig. I... Got our general vicinity down. I tend to mark with my foot, so you will see my foot enter often into my frames. So. Oops. Get my carrot. See if I can locate anything besides my shoes. All right. We have a winner, hopefully. Let's see what's in there. I try the best I can to dig plugs. I don't, a lot of the places around here don't like me to use the shovel. They think I'm gonna dig a giant pit. <sighs> I am so bad about that carrot. I need to put it on a string, I guess. Ooh, there is something very hard right there. So, this may be a whole different cause than we anticipated. Ooh, that's probably the prettiest plug I ever dug. And no, I wasn't trying to write poetry. is hard for me. I'm used to bending over and with the camera where it's located. I don't really think I can do it. I'm going to try to get down here on this one. I don't do this very often, folks. You may have to send 911 to get me up. And I'm thinking that the hard object was probably the signal. I'm not seeing anything else in here. All right, let's see what that is, folks. Might be a root. Or a wire. I don't know why there would be a wire out here. Ooh, there's something hard right there. Oops. Let's see what that is. Yes, I know. I do not have... Holy guacamole. Well, that's what it was, folks. I'm not sure what that is. But it appears to be copper. So we're going to keep it. And move on to another hole. What we managed to produce is a big old pile of lead junk. It's just chunks of metal, but we'll get it out of the playground. The kids don't need that. So we're gonna take that with us. I've got a 56 to 57, which most of the time produces junk. 
I just dug another one like it, which offered me a crunched up bottle cap. So now it seems to be jumping up into the 60s. So I'm going to give it a go here. It's supposed to be pretty close to the top. See a little dot? I don't know if you can see a little dot, but I'm pretty much centered on it. Oh, don't you just love looking at my knees? This doesn't work the same for guys. We need got extra appendages that stick out on the front and make this camera go where you don't want it. Okay, let's try right here. See if we're even in the frame. Like I said, this is a camera test, folks. It's not intended to be a high-quality metal detecting adventure. And it has produced more le junk in the sack. Moving on. Okay. We're bouncing back and forth between basically 66 and 72 mostly on 68 to 70 so we're in a coin range we're going to see if there's one in there we're right up under a tree and this is probably going to be pretty far down so Okay, supposed to be right in there, right up near the tree, marking it with my my foot as usual. A lot of this depth might only be uh, pine needles, a common product of Georgia. But it may be further down or I may have already brushed it away so I'm gonna run the detector back over it again you can do that folks it's still going 67 72 and it seems to be a pretty small spot right about where that branch is growing out so let's dig baby could be more junk too a lot of roots out here just a lot of a lot of stuff had it okay we got us a vicinity also got us a ton of roots oh my goodness I may not be able to get to what this is, the roots of this tree are big and they are solid. And where it is, is in a hole in a spot right there in these roots. We may be out of luck on this one, too. I don't get any of them that are easy. And for something that's ringing in a penny range, I don't know if I'm willing to excavate to Valdosta. So, i scrape away at it a little bit more. But I don't think we're going to be able to get this I think it's under the root system 
and wait a minute. Well, I was wishful thinking I saw something round. That's just a nub of the root. I absolutely hate to give up on a dig, but I'm afraid we're going to have to on this one. I just cannot get into that area. There's just a huge root right here and another foot root right there. And my target is actually right in there. Probably up under that root. You can tell I don't want to give up, <laughs> even for a penny, but that's because I have found nothing <laughs> so far, but junk. Okay, I see it's not really, a, not really attached to the tree, this root. So, so we'll see if my assassin will go under it. And the answer to that is a resounding no. We're not going to be able to move this, folks. <sighs> Pulled it up a little bit, but I don't think it's going to go. <sighs> well, I got it away a little bit. I'll give it one more look. This is a whole lot like work. signal has moved. That's not it. It was up here. Now it's down here. That's crazy. It might be the root itself. I have had that happen. Oh, I just bent my bent Rambo, so I think we're going to have to Call this a lost cause here. Whatever this is, I'm throwing in the towel. Mother Nature wants to keep it. She can keep it. It's too much for me. Fill in our little hole. Actually, it's starting to become a big hole. Put our little needles back over. Tamp it down. All right, we're good to go. Sorry, no ticky, no laundry, no treasure. <laughs> 